Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is the fifth outing in the series led by Harrison Ford and doesn't have Steven Spielberg in the directing chair for our grumpy adventurer, but instead got James Mangold of Logan, Ford v Ferrari, Walk the Line and more. Taking on a continuing or potentially ending franchise, which let's be real, is not gonna happen with a popular property like this, is never an easy task for any director, but Indiana Jones 5 fumbles the bag in many ways that are really hard to wrap my head around. Fundamentally, it does have a screenplay issue that not even Phoebe Waller-Bridge's quippy Helena can save. Rather than giving us a story about these two characters or focusing on an elderly Harrison Ford, the MacGuffin object ends up being the not-so-great focus of the entire story. Often it seems like the movie could care less if there was an actual interesting conflict happening between the characters. They escape in Scooby-Doo-like fashion and solve riddles without any process, solely waiting for the audience to clap for cheer moments and cameos. The opening action scene with a de-aged Harrison Ford is probably the best sequence in the movie. There are also a few issues with the eyelines in that specific scene, but other than that, it's fairly the most solid thing coming out of the film. Mats Mikkelsen is alright and Boyd Hoybrook is a quite one-noted villain as well. It might be enough for popcorn entertainment, but it's way closer to Kingdom of the Crystal Skull than the original trilogy. And my rating for the film is a 5 out of 10. Let me know if you'll be seeing Indiana Jones 5 in theaters and subscribe for more reviews in Gun and I'll see you soon.